Hello everybody and welcome to part 21 of our 1257 AD uh, Let's play Rebuilding the Roman Empire Now the good news is I'm 100% caught up on YouTube So you know the good thing about that is I can actually you know read all the comments that I get And actually you know apply that to the game Instead of having all a bunch of pre-recorded stuff um, This episode is going to be a little bit different though because I'm gonna have to show you a few things, hence the title of the video. You're kind of like, probably like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? And really quick, I'm just it's about a four minute little clip that I have, so I'm gonna put that in right here, and you can take a quick look about uh, at my uh, custom built Rome that I've been building for the last you know couple of days. So here is that. All right, hello and welcome to my custom made Rome, which you are now viewing. You know, we're just taking a nap, preparing for the siege. And here it is. Oh god, that was fast. And this is Rome. The custom built Rome I've been working on. It's not finished, obviously. But I'm just showing you because I could implement it into the uh into the game because it is playable. Like the, the the units and stuff do the right things. But what I've noticed is they mostly cross the bridge and go for the gate in this ladder. They don't really use this ladder that much. But uh here it is. I used obviously the golden gate, which Technically, historically speaking, it doesn't really belong in Rome. It belongs in Constantinople, but whatever. You know, whatever. Uh, it's not finished yet, like I said, but this is what it is. Archers, some spawn up there, some spawn over there. Over there, infantry spawns over here. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, it's not finished, obviously, because, you know, it's not finished. <laughs> um, uh, you know, that's just for, like, scene, because, you know, Rome's a city, so you throw little buildings. I'm going to put some buildings on this side, and then a bunch in the middle but in the middle is going to be like end up kind of like roads that lead to this gate and you can fall back to the keep which you could actually go inside that keep and hold your ground in there which i'll show you in a minute but this is rome um i basically just want to get i want to show you and you guys can leave a comment whatever what you think about it and if i should implement it into the game right now oh my god that coke is fizzy this man that's just bad all right well the thing is about implementing it as well what the mod makers did with this mod is they don't have single towns they have zones of towns so if i was to implement this to rome it would implement it to all of italy so every like siege in italy would consist of this it wouldn't just be rome that's just how the mod makers designed it each area of the map has its own zones for like sieges there's not that many custom settlements. There's a lot, but there's not like not each and every one of them. But this is it, and uh, once you actually the reinforcements come from back here too. So the cool thing is, once you get defeated over here, you have no choice but to fall back. So eventually, when this is done, you're gonna be falling back in, into the city, maybe to like a town center around here, and then eventually, if you fall, if you uh, your men can't hold there, you end up having just to keep falling back within the city, which m makes it really cool. Because the reinforcements spawn all the way inside the keep. They spawn in here. I can show you the entry points. Uh, entry points. It should show me now. Or the f oh, I have to click H. My bad. Alright, um, this is where the reinforcements come from. Entry point for reinforcements is 15, and they're all right here. So, when you get when you get destroyed up front, when your men can't hold, the reinforcements spawn here. So, reinforcements have to spawn here. And they have to walk through here, and they have to walk all the way over here and then over here to get back to the main fight and eventually there's going to be buildings all over the place so it's going to look like an actual city not just an open field so when you do actually lose your your ground over here and you have to fall back you literally do have to fall back and find another place to hold your ground so it makes it more like immersive when you're fighting this siege battle again it's not finished and um if you're wondering what the barriers and stuff are that's just so you, you can't go into this area like and i'm gonna have it over here as well the main fighting area is going to be in the center of the city that's just for show over here that kind of stuff um oh my god i just tapped out of the game okay but uh, that is that and uh i kind of want to know if you guys just want me to implement it into the game already or wait till it's more complete but uh just wanted to show you that now we can get back to the actual part 21 of our of the let's play here and not sit on this for ages so uh, that is Rome that I'm working on right now and uh, yeah that's that that's the, that's the AI mesh if you're wondering 
I actually clicked create AI mesh, which caused all this shit. I had to delete a fuck ton of it. But now the AI only follows this little mesh here. So, yeah. Anyway, that is that. So, I will see you back in part 21. So, that was the custom built realm. I hope it's not too much too shit for you to, uh, to like. Um, I know, historically speaking, Rome did not look like that. So, I want to show you what Rome looked like, or it looks like now, in the Siege Battle. So, here's that. Hi again. Um, just gonna show you this now real quick. Because, you know, historically speaking, like I said just a second ago in the video, this is what Rome looked like. This is what the Siege for Rome, look, the default one that the, that's in the mod looks like. Looks good. But historically speaking, Rome didn't look like that. You know, just. Yeah. Alright. I think I have Pandora playing. I do. Fuck off, Epiduo. Epiduo, shut up! I forgot I had Pandora going. Um. I'm being sponsored by Epiduo. I'm not. I'm really not. I've never even tried it. I don't know if it's shit or not. Anyway, this is what the uh, other one looked like, so... Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Well, well, let's, let's get back to part you know, 21 here and actually do some. So there you go. I'll see you at part 21. And so as you see, historically speaking, neither of them really look like Rome. Actually, I don't know what Rome looked like. But anyway, that's that. Uh, just you go ahead and leave a comment on what you think about that. And uh, now we'll actually get into the episode here, part 21. Uh, I actually recorded like 20 minutes of this, and I realized I wasn't recording. So, uh, yeah. But there was a comment to tell me to get some, some Genovian crossbowmen or whatever. And what I've been wanting to do actually was I wanted to make the Roman garrison, like, I want to control it. But by doing that, I'd lose the current garrison I have now. So I, what I was going to do... I was just gonna go in there and buy a fuck ton of mercenaries and just stick them in there as the garrison. And the Genovan crossbowmen could join me. They're attacking my caravan. Wait. One second. One second. I had that off when I was building my, um, the custom settlement. Because the music gets annoying. I'll try to listen to, like, Pandora or Twitch or something while I'm building that. Um, what should we start with? I don't know. And by the way, um, I would like to thank my, I think, 43 subscribers I have at the moment. I'm not sure. But, um, I think it's that. 43 or 42. And if you ever leave a comment, I'd like to thank you for that as well. Because if I don't ever directly respond to it, obviously I read everyone that's there because I don't have that many. So I appreciate every comment that is given. And, you know, if you have any, like, tidbits of advice or, like, knowledge and historical, like, standpoint of what's going on or whatever. I appreciate that as well because it makes the game that much more interesting when you know those extra little facts and stuff. As well as um, anything else, like where to get troops and stuff. Like I was told to get some crossbowmen here. I was told a little bit about what these these factions here are, like the Guelphs and the Glebeans and all them, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so that's really nice. Uh, anyway, let's get back to the uh, the campaign here. My goal is to take Sienna next, cause it's right there. Then get rid of that faction completely, and that's just one less freaking faction messing with me. Lord Peter, what are you doing? Damn it, Lord Peter! Oh God! Oh yeah, we uh, sent him to get the Holy Roman Empire. I did that when the 20 minutes that I was not recording, and that's what happened there. Well, 20 minutes I thought I was recording, and I wasn't. Um, so now, now we're not at war with the Holy Roman Empire again. Henry, welcome back. We'll just slaughter these guys real fast. Why is that coke so fizzy? It's not nice. Alright, cavalry. I'll just have my infantry go ahead and charge. Archers, go ahead and charge as well. But cavalry, you're following me because we're going in. I like these these uh these battles right here. Is my horse wounded? Seems to be going slow. I feel like he's wounded, I don't know. Alright, well they have like 30 men, so we're gonna steamroll them. Oh shit! This is interesting. What the fuck? Talk about a hill advantage! 
Jesus Christ. Hey, look, it's their chest. <laughs> what is this? How do I get them? This is interesting. This is really interesting. They're literally on that hill. Like, I would love to have, like, my men now and be versing, like, freaking, like, 600 of the enemy. We'd win. Because this is, like, the most biggest advantage of all time. Ow. Can't <laughs> Alright, Cav. Do what you can. Damn it. Wait, wait, wait. Cavalry charge. Thank you. Alright. Let's see what my Cav can do. Jesus Christ. Oh God, they're charging at us. No. Alright, you know what? I think I'm, I'm better off off my horsey. So let's get these... Alright. You little spears can't beat me. They just ran into us, actually. I'm going to go out of friendly fire as an army. Because, oh, I don't think there is a friendly fire option. But if there was friendly fire, holy crap. I'd chop so much of my own men up. I just know it. Good job. We might actually lose someone though. And I guess not. We're fine. It's a nice blue horse you got there. Oh. I dearly apologize to that poor horse that I just destroyed. Rest in pieces, horse heaven. And no, rest in pieces in horse heaven, horsey. Yes. That is what English was supposed to come out of my mouth there, but it did not. Get the fuck out of here. I'm missing like just immensely now. Alright, get the fuck out of here. Get off this stupid hill. This is my hill now. Nice of you guys to finally join us down there. It's a lot of men. Alright. Thank you, Lord Peter. Uh, you want to stop fighting people, maybe? Like, that'd be great. Because I kind of need your men if we're going to take Sienna. I think it's about time we call up another... Um, oh, we are in the middle of one. What is this? What is this? Why aren't you following me? Yeah, Lord Peter. Um, you have a new task for you. You should follow me. You better do that. I'm a king. I'll take everything from you. Make you join my company again. Alright. <sighs> Sienna. Let's get a max garrison of 504 plus 79. Hey, look. Boris, we need your 80 men. Come here. Look, you need to follow me. Excuse me? What you- We are retreating to Rome. We are not strong enough to face the enemy out in the open. I must attend to- You have 80 men, dude. You're fine. Like, Lord Peter only has like 20 more men in here, really. Alright, maybe he'll- he'll- What is that? Oh, shit. Dessert tie. Bunch of dessert is Italian and Serbian men. And Sicilians as well. What do you think you're doing? Don't you dare fuck with my lords. I need all of them. Alright, what I'm gonna do here is upgrade some of my, my men. I have s four senior knights. I don't have any more Teutonic men? What? I need to get some more Teutonic men. Um, I'm gonna let them go because if I kill him, he's just gonna end up back in his stupid little place. Maybe those deserters will get him. Hope so. I want all my lords. All my lords. I want all of them. Alright. Exactly. What would I tell you? He, he goes there and then he comes out. Alright. Where is Lord Smiles, Boris? Tell me where Tell me where Smiles is, someone. Lord Peter. I wish to ask you something. Um, I want to know the location of Lord Smiles. He's in a field and he should be close. To, I think he might be coming to me. He might be coming for me. It's C-U-M-I-N-G, not C-O-M-I-N-G. That's what I meant by that. I'm sorry, Smiles. I'm not Smiles! You get the fuck away from my men. Protective over my vassals. More because I just need their men at the moment. Oh, there we go. Look at this. So what do we got here? Um, we got 236 plus 109. That's 300 in the 40s right there. Plus 8, that's like 400. And plus another. Yeah, so we almost have 500 men right there. So we should be good to take this place. Let's go ahead and besiege it. Alright. I 
my only concern at the moment is I hope no one runs away while we're while we're sieging. What am I trying to do here? Oh yeah, I was wanting to really fast look at my um budget because I've been um oh, I'm actually positive now. I'm not making any tariffs tariffs from it, but I think that's because it's just dead poor at the moment. Yeah, it's very poor. I like how the papal states are still around. That makes me like laugh. The papal states. It occupies nowhere. But it is at war with Bulgaria, so if they can somehow take something from Bulgaria, they'd be back in the game. And they have enough men to do it. Like the Pope has three hundred men alone. Alright, let's go ahead and besiege this. Now nobody God damn it. See this is what happens. One, they like teleport once you siege. And two, wait, who is he fighting then? Dude, I'm gonna kill you if you come any closer to me. Oh, you get the fuck out of here. Alright. They teleport. I don't know what causes that, but they do. And it ends up. It ends up them. F okay, good. They're all with me. You stay the fuck. Alright. No, don't go anywhere. Lord Peter! Lord Boris and Smiles are with me, though. Peter? Peter, don't you dare. Come back here. P you fucker. That's a hundred men we're down right there. Alright, let's go for it. We're still gonna go for it. We're down a hundred men, but you never know. We could still pull it off. And also, with my custom-built Rome, right now, I'd be attacking that settlement. So, I'd be attacking the settlement of Rome. That's essentially what I'm doing now. Because that's how the mob maker did things. I'm not sure if I explained that in that four-minute little clip that I had there. But that's basically what happens. So, every settlement in Italy would be the one that I have in Rome. So, I'm not sure if, I sh if you guys want me to do that or not. If it was just Rome, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But it's not just Rome. It's, it's a lot more than just Rome. Holy fuck, Nuggets. I'm going around. But this... But that cheese! Mm. Cheese. I love cheese. Actually, I don't love cheese that much. I love certain cheese. I'm going around, though. Hello, my good men. I'm sorry I must chop your face now. I can... They're shooting at me, little shitholes. Damn it! Fucking cunt. I'm getting destroyed at the moment, and I'm not happy about it. God damn! Stop parrying my attacks, you little shit! You guys are going nuts! They're just blocking everything! About to pull out the big boy now. The second I do that, they rush me! What is this? It's not good enough, though. They rush me, that's like, that's insane. They're like, they pull, he pulled out the big boy. Holy fuck! I hate this area. They, they shoot the shit out of you. You never shield on my back. I should be safe. What is this? What is this nonsense? I'm still being shot. I hear it. Those little like... Whoosh, is them hitting me but not doing any damage. Because my armor. Ow! Ow! Jesus, dude! That guy has a fucking hammer the size of like... A large dick or something like that. He's just swinging that thing like it's nothing. What are you guys doing up there? Not too well. I'm doing alright. Oh, now it's time to kill you fuckholes. You done shooting at me? Oh, yeah. They're blocking my stuff quite a bit. Alright, we cleared this area out. You know what I really could do is I could put like a staircase over there. I could go into edit mode and just put a staircase over there to make this place a little bit more not annoying. I need to go over here. Actually. We'll help out a little bit over here though because it is quite... Where's the rest of my men? I'm gonna need to help out over here. I can't really do that because they're completely surrounded it. Alright. 
Ow. I don't know how things are going right now. Because I'm not sure exactly the total amount of men we had. I know we, were, we had like, I think maybe 400 or so. Oh my god. They really enjoy shield bashing. I need to get the uh, big the big axe out. It has better range. Chopping them, son of a... Oh, God. The oh, God. It's been opened. Oh, my God, man. They're going nuts on me. This is a very good, like, tactically wise, it's a really good setup because the archers just pelt my men over there in the back constantly. How is that shield still up? There we go. No men, don't, don't do that what you're doing right now. Oh, no. Nah. Can I just... Oh, that didn't work. Can I just squeeze through here? Hey y'all! Hey y'all! How dare you? I don't think you'd be able to fucking block that just by putting like the, the weapon like that. Like, this thing's a huge ass axe. That would your arm would that axe would hit you in the face. What the fuck is that? It's like a bird outside my window, like taunting me. It wants me to hunt it down. How good are we doing? Like we killed a lot of them, but I, I think we're down to our last. This is the last of our men, though. I think. I need to get in that. Oh, I need to get this thing out. Okay, that fucking guy, man. Jesus. Oh, God. They had reinforcements. I need to get in this area. Is this all I have? Fuck. I have a club. This guy sucks. Not sure how good, but yeah, this is this is the last of our men we have here, and they still have a lot more men. If Lord Peter was here, it'd be a different story. But Lord Peter's an asshole, and he's like, "No, nah, I'm gonna leave." I mean, you guys don't need help with this, dude. You're fine. Okay, but uh, this game is an asshole. It really is. I'm a good soldier now, but like, it puts me down here because you know it's an asshole. Come on. C come on. For fuck's sake. Really, guys? Really? But yeah, this is the last of our men. Let me fucking up the ladder, for fuck's sake. Is that all it takes? Just throw a few fucks out, and they're like, okay, fine, man, fine. No, oh, man. I'm gonna have to retreat, I think. this is They only have 209 left, but we only have, like, 110, I think that is. Yeah. And we're losing like crazy because of those assholes up there. Constantly fucking shooting at us. I can't stay here for much longer or they're going to capture me. Like add a hundred more men to what we have and we would have taken this place. Because Lord Peter would have helped us. But he's just he's an asshole man. I'm definitely not giving him any fees for a while. Fuck you Peter. You shit. Oh my. They keep falling off and then coming behind me. I'm trying to just get a few more kills. God damn. Christ, these guys, man. This is an intense fight. Oh, fuck. I gotta go. Damn. 
fucking Lord Peter's such a prick. They had, that's all they had left. If we just had a hundred more men, like, are you shitting me? That is just so fucking shitty for us. At least we got some more men out of it. Well, not really. We lost a lot of more men, but we got some stronger men, I suppose. We're gonna get some mercs, and I'm gonna go get some... We're at, we're at war with them, I think. I'm not sure. I'd have to sneak into the castle then. Don't you... F Four men, and I have eight men. Shit. He's, he's a lost cause. I can't do anything about it. But what I can do is possibly... I'm not sure how much men I got out of that, but... I don't want to leave him to die. Like, this is a shit thing to know. I have 21 men. <sighs> Whatever, I can't risk that right now. Lord Peter, what the fuck is your problem? Why did you do that? You're such an asshole. Oh my god. Lord Peter, man, that fucking prick. And now what's going on here? They really want to see Jankona. What sucks is before your your settlement gets a big garrison like this, it's such a big target. Wait, do I have any lances? I have one lance. It's ten men, so I'll take it. They're attacking with like what is that? Two, three, four, four like five, six, seven hundred men. So we're gonna defend this, obviously. I'm not losing this. Uh, well, we're gonna tell Lord Peter to get inside though, if he if he'll do it. Sometimes the AI is stupid and just be like, "No, there's too many men over there. I'm scared." They're not smart enough to realize they're not gonna attack him. So you, my friend, I have a new task you go to Ancona. Come on, man. See, he's too, he's too scared to do it. So we're on, and then, so what do we have? 182 plus my 68. It's gonna be a tough one, but um, we're gonna do it. Alright. And that, my friends, is where the episode must come to an end. Because unfortunately it's about like five or six minutes of the episode that's just gonna be those two little clips that I had to show you. So next episode I'll make it an extra long one. It'll be like 35 minutes long just for the, to make up for that. <clears throat> so I hope you enjoyed this episode and next episode we will continue to expand our dominion over the Italian peninsula by taking Siena hopefully because it is wounded now. But first we gotta deal with Ancona. So I will see you next time. Thank you.